Hey guys, welcome back to Anderton's TV. It's Lee here and I am joined on Zoom by none other than Dave Friedman all the way from the USA because we are talking about this, which is a new pedal called the IRX that Dave has designed. Um, and before Pete and I plug it in and check it out, I thought we'd jump on a call to Dave and Dave could tell us all about it and that'll help the demonstration. So Dave, welcome. Uh, it's great to see you again. So give us, what, what is this? What am I holding in my hand? Okay, let's first state it's not a pedal. It's not a guitar pedal per se. It is in a pedal format. It's a high voltage tube guitar preamp with a, um, mated with a digital back end where you have power amp simulation and IR capability. So it, you know, it's, it's, you know, in, in this day and age of a lot of direct guitar solutions with different modelers and different things like that, the most frustrating thing is the menus and the pages and hooking up the computer to edit where your gain is and doing all this stuff. And, you know, I don't know about you. I don't have the patience for it. And most guitar players I know don't really either, especially pro level guys. They just kind of want to twist a knob and go. So think of this pedal as a direct solution that replaces your amplifier. So let's say okay. you had a BE, let's say you had a BE 100 Deluxe, for instance. This would replace it. This could go on your existing pedal board. You could use it just like you use your amplifier. It has an effects loop in it. It has a balanced uh, out on it for um, for IRs, and um, it sounds. It is the identical preamps out of a lot of my products in, internally. It is all tube, you know, in the front end. I see, I can see from the, the photographs of this that there are two 12AX7s in there. I yes. can see also that you've opted for um, a reasonably uh, powerful power supply. It's still, a, it's still an adapter rather than a, you know, a mains uh, mm -hmm. sort of 110 volt or 240 volt. But I guess that's, Half the problem, isn't it, with using tubes in products like this is actually getting the tubes to run hot enough that they would emulate how they would be in a normal guitar amplifier. Yeah, it's not too much of a problem in this day and age. We, you know, There's a switching power supply inside that boosts the voltage to the high voltage right. that we use in an amplifier. When I've AB'd this product right to, say, some of my amplifiers directly, just listening to the preamp section of it back and forth, it does it exactly. Oh, that's if. I mean, I'm, I'm fairly familiar with the amps in your range, but for perhaps those not, is there, w which amps uh, are we, are these sort of most like, if you like, from the Friedman range? Well, so the, um, the top channel is the cleaner channel, and that is more like our beloved, that everyone loves, Plexi channel. So that goes anywhere from clean to, you know, semi-broken up. Uh, on this pedal also, you have a boost. So on the side of the pedal is two boost levels, which is the amount of gain it's going to boost. Anywhere from no gain to a good amount of boost gain. But when you do switch the boost on, it switches to a separate master volume on the channel called boost right. volume over on, the, uh, on your left. And the boost volume when you switch the boost on comes on so you can have any volume level set for that also you know so if you want a lead boost with no gain you can have it if you want a lead boost with some gain and and a volume boost you know you have your master volume there you can control it so really it's like a four channel amp i was about to say box. it's like four channels and each channel can be assigned its own ir by the looks correct. of correct there is a three position ir switch on each channel now, via software that you can hook up to this via the USB in the back, you can uh, change the IRs you use. We have a, a group of uh, a dozen IRs that we've included 
that are Friedman uh, kind of exclusive IRs. And um, you can change what IRs are in those three slots on each channel. You can put in any IR you own or have of the 10 million that are out there. Uh, whatever your favorite is, or you could just leave the ones that are in there and use it very simply. Now, it also has MIDI on the back, as you see. So that's, uh, that's for not uh, tone, like, like uh, presets of the volume. It's, it's just channel switching, MIDI channel switching. Uh, from preset to preset on the, cha on the MIDI, you can uh, change the IR state also. So if you're Sorry, using, so is this a MIDI out or a MIDI in? MIDI in. So if you're right, using so a, you'd use a MIDI controller, controller. Yeah. yeah, you can switch cha all the channels, all the boosts. You can uh, decide from patch to patch what IR you have on. And uh, what else can you do with it? Well, obviously in the software, you can change the MIDI channel to whatever you'd like it to be. You can store a bunch of presets in there as far as what you're going to do. Yeah. Um, the, the other thing that's on, in the software is from preset to preset, you have controllable thump and presence. So just like your Friedman amp, you have a thump and a presence. It's a three position switch for each one. So if you'd like it darker or brighter, that is programmable. From right. patch to patch, so cool. you you do get a little programmability, you know. There. So in the demo that Pete and I do, would would you say it's it's definitely worth having the uh, unit hooked up to your laptop just to kind of get a sense of what is available under the hood? I would I would definitely say say so. So you can it's very easy to use software. It's not it's not yeah. complicated. Generally, you can get around on it by just looking at it. You know, it's not it's not going to be some crazy. Deep dive. Well, we will, the whole we will idea of the product is don't make it hard, you know? Yeah. Uh, and I think that's an interesting one, isn't it? You, you, I think there's all, you know, there's younger guitar players or guitar players that have grown up perhaps digital native where they're happy creating guitar tones with a mouse and a ton of menus. And then there's uh, guys like me and, and by the sounds of thing, you as well that just want to see something like this and go, yeah. I know that's how I'm going to get my sound, but it's cool that you know I, I, I'm I'm excited to try this. I know it's, this is the sort of first time that you you've kind of ventured into doing a product like this. I guess what would you say your most similar? Would it be the sort of synergy stuff and what you've worked on there is most similar to this? Or? I mean, I suppose so, but I mean, this is is much more advanced than that because you have you know the the IRs that you can store. You can also use this in a different format. So say you're traveling and you're, you're renting backline amplifiers, but you want to have your sounds. You can simply come out the effects loop send on this, and it's your preamp. Yeah. You can plug it into the effects loop return of uh, oh, a Hot Rod DeVille or, or whatever sort of backline amp you have, and you can get your sounds really simply that way. You can, you can also hook it up. There's, ways, there's a myriad of ways to hook it up. There's, so you the can also send to front of house and send to a power amp return via the effects loop. There's different ways to split and hook it up. I mean, you could go crazy with how many different ways you could actually do it. So the default setting then is the effects loop send has no cabinet emulation on it and the balanced out has the cabinet emulation Correct. on it. Correct. Mm -hmm. Right. Okay, mm -hmm. well, look, we'll set it up like that tomorrow. This sounds fun. I don't. I, we started talking about what channels well, sorry what which of your amps were they based oh, yeah, on and sorry, we talked we about what the clean one was <laughs> what what just to sort of finish off where where, where does the how how insane does channel two go <laughs> well Chan, channel two will do you know all the the um you know slight variations of the you know the be circuit of the b100 amp and um it'll do some more things too it's slightly voiced differently um and then with the boost feature, you're getting super high gain if you'd like, but you can tame it back. It also has a tight switch on that channel. So it can be tighter or fatter depending on how you want it to sound and how maybe if you're running the gain low, you might want it on the fatter setting. If you're running the gain really high, you might want it on the tighter setting. But, you know, the, the idea is, you know, all the guitar, most guitar players have a pedal board already. And they get put in this situation where they have to go direct now. And 
this can simply incorporate into their existing pedal boards. They can use their favorite Strymon effects or, or whatever they love, you know, and, um, and just incorporate it. And you've got an instantaneous direct solution. The other thing is you'll find out when you plug that into the computer monitors tomorrow or something, literally just set everything at five, plug a guitar cord in and it balanced out and you're going to have a sound instantly. And then you just so go, okay, I want a little yeah. more bass, a little less treble. I want a little more gain. Yeah. Okay, boom, 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 done. It's all, always the sign of a, a great product where you can just set all the knobs like that and yeah. that's the sound. I did exactly. notice, and I just wanted to ask, the IRs that are in uh, that come with this mm -hmm. are all cabinets that you personally own and have um, done the impulse responses of them. Have yes. they ever been available before, or is this the first time you can get the those only cabs? The only way some of these cabinets are available is through Two Notes products. Uh, right. Uh, uh, and... Um, uh, but that's their own proprietary. These these are versions of them that aren't uh, from the two notes. So they're, they're the same cabinets, but there's some more in there that we've never had too. There's an EV in there for people that right. might want an EV. There's, uh, wow. uh, you know, there's, there's some different personal favorites sort of in, in the, in the IR selection. It's not just all Friedman cabinets. Oh, well, it I look forward to that. We will definitely give this a, a blast in various different ways. Like you say, it's a, it is an interesting solution for anybody, whether you want a desktop DI into your DAW, or as you rightly said, if you want to be at a tour and just have something you can plug into the effects return of another amplifier or any combination of those things. So we mm -hmm. will check that out. I'm going to plug this in shortly. In fairness, if I'm wearing a different t-shirt in the video where we plug it in, it's because we're doing it tomorrow, not today. This this, <laughs> we have to record the interviews with Dave late and he has to get up early to do them. Um, oh, but yeah. Anyway. Right. Well, look, it's great to see you, man. Hopefully see you at uh, NAMM next year. Um, but yes, thank you very much for, for, for giving us the, the overview. And now we shall go and plug it in. Excellent. Yes. Thank you very much, Dave, for that explanation. And it is indeed the next day. So I've forgotten everything he said. <laughs> but we're going to plug this in now. So no need to really tell you what it all does, because Dave did that, right? So um, we've got guitar, guitars, yeah, uh, running into Pete's Dane Mark II pedal. Yes, uh, Like a below. normal drive pedal, you know, into the front end of the Friedman IRX. For this first part of the demo, we've got um, a UAFX Evermore reverb in the effects loop and then we're coming out of the balanced output going into our DAW so you're hearing everything direct with the cab simulation from the IRX on and then when we finish going through the settings here we're going to run it in the other way that Dave mentioned which will be into the effects return of a guitar amplifier yes. uh, and then miking the cabinet up as normal. So it just faded away but you were talking about that I have no <laughs> idea what was going on. <laughs> Uh, we've got the um, we've got the, the 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 program the software program running yeah. on Pete's computer here. Uh, it's very very simple. There is just this one screen basically, so super super easy yeah. to do. Plug it straight in. It just came straight up. Super easy. Bosh. Boom. Like we like it. Uh, if you look in the top left hand corner of the screen, you'll see where it says presence and thump. Uh, they are thump. the settings that Dave was talking about that are just applied to the IR. So obviously you only you can only adjust those from within the software. Yeah. Um, everything else we're going to do from here. We're so there, let's yeah. have a little listen now. Absolutely. First uh, cabinet is the 6402, um, which actually, if I do click on this little plus sign, tells us that this is Dave's iconic bearwood cabinet. Blah blah blah. You can read all that because I'll leave it on the screen. That's amazing. Um, but and that's... 57 and 121 must be the microphone he's used Indeed. to that one. I would guess. So uh, let's have a little listen. Sounds really good, man. Yeah, this I mean, just sounds great, doesn't it? So we're using Anything this they, set of knobs here. Um, you can see Pete's rolled a little bit of treble off, boosted the middle and the bass slightly. Relatively low gain. We've got an additional uh, gain trim pot on the side here, which is uh, set to about um, one o'clock, something like that. Try one, try twelve o'clock just to see what it does with right, everything at twelve. Yeah. I'm just. 
I'm not going to have the volume at 12 o'clock because I'm just okay. conscious we might clip the, the input game. But... That's great. Yeah, you can... A little bit can, more? Yeah. What is this on the back pickup? This is such I mean, great it sounds great. I've got this three-way brightness <laughs> switch here. I can... Oh, so that's the same. So that's the same as on the amps, where you, the middle one is sort of flat, flat, yeah. and then you've got two extremes on each I side. I think with a guitar like this, you definitely do not need extra brightness no. into the DI. You might find this becomes slightly more important or useful if mm. you're going into the effects return of a dark amplifier. Maybe this sounds great. Uh, let's. What else have you got over there, then? What well, are these so things? This here? is how to switch the IR. Which okay. I can do either from here or from the okay. the computer. Uh, I've got a boost button that I can do. Let's see. I will take the boost down. Let's sort of gain it a bit more. That's a good sound, man. I'm just again, <laughs> I know the technology is moving on at like light speed at it the is. moment. That's one of the best DI guitar sounds that I've heard. It sounds, a, yeah. it sounds great. It sounds great. Um, I mean, anything Dave touches just sounds great. Yeah, he's got a magic, magic touch. He knows there. how to do he this knows type tone, of, of guitar tone. tone. Yeah. Yeah. Um, let's just try it with a conventional pedal. <laughs> There's a lot of low ends oh, in like there. I like it though. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> What does Not. it do with the boost? Just the boost? Okay, yeah. I'm just going to flick it over on the... Uh... <laughs> we'll try the other cabinet uh, emulations here. So... Um, okay. I think... Okay, so I've got to just scroll left and right to... F okay, so the V30, sorry, and then brackets main, uh, Friedman 4x12, closed back, Baltic... Birch cab. Anyway, again, you can read the rest of that. There's a little yeah. description on the screen. Let's have a listen to that. I took the boost off. Let's flick back to the I'll, other. I'll let you just flick. Yeah. yeah. Okay. I, I can, could, use I could the switch, do yeah. it from the, the switch on here if I wanted to. Let's try this last one. So uh, we just run through, I think we'll run through all three so you can hear them. Mm -hmm. You the can, of course, load in your own IRs Absolutely, as well. Absolutely, by clicking uh, the little uh, But yeah, folder. so here's the, um, actually, what is that third one? Let's just do that. Just click the plus. Uh, a rare UK um, 4x12 cab from the 80s. Anyway, have a read of that. So you'll see now as I, oh. as I click through. So here was the first one. Second one. Third one. Now again, mm -hmm. these features, this presence and thump feature at the top here, which um, you can see me adjusting now, these only, you can only adjust these from the software. Yeah. You can't adjust these from the pedal. So let's have a look at well, that. Well, that would be saved automatically in the pedal, right? I, well, saved within the IR. Be, yeah, yeah, in the, in the IR, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So let's see. So here's it. Okay, I like that best. Yeah, and get a nice thump. That's a great channel one. You got everything there from sort of, you know, pretty crispy clean right through to some sort of rockier yeah, yeah, tones. Yeah. Let's try this B 
boost feature here. Um, let's do it. Obviously, Pete did say it's pretty pokey, so let's just start with it really low. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. it'd act so it'll actually be less yeah, if yeah. you want it to be. Okay, yeah. so. Oh. Whoa, that's, it. That's, that's a lot. Can the, can the DI. Yeah, we're yeah, good, we're, we're good. good. Just we? don't do that more than yeah. that. Insane. Channel two? Yeah, channel two. Stank face. Take, is there a thump on there? Can you take the thump back? That channel there. Yeah. It gets, gets quite low ending, but it's great. great. It sounds great. So good, man. I want to hear it with the Les Paul. Yeah. Which is the which is the tighter setting out of the two? Ooh. It's slightly tighter to the left, so if you're getting some rumble on the bass end, man alive. Wow. He just knows tone, man. The, the, What's, the, this the, so the, good. The twelve o'clock tone is like it's the secret, isn't it? If you can get that right, you know yeah. you're winning. So here we go, let's pull. That's got a little bit of that flavor to it as well, those pickup. That's so good, man. A bit. Let's go back. Yes, but you know, you know me and gain. I'm not the biggest fan of too much gain. But this is a good gain. There's something with Dave's gain, the freedom yeah. gain. It's just different. Yeah, it's it, a next level it's gain. It's lo lots of gain, but it's still it's stays not busy. smooth. Yeah, it's it smooth and it's not. There's not. A, it's this, and I can't believe that sound is coming out of this. I can't it's believe it's not butter. I, yes, well, there's two well, tubes well, in there. So there's tubes in here, which makes it much nicer, of course. Well, that does. Maybe that makes a difference. I don't know. But my God, that sounds good. Right. Have we Holy had enough? To this DI, should we just try it into the effects? Uh, well, uh, yeah, I did have a little play last night when I set it up. I couldn't stop. Right. Okay. So, um, right. So, what I've done now, I think there's two ways that you could connect this. All right. So, I've all I've done now is use the same output that we were using to go into the DI, but mm -hmm. I'm just using a regular guitar cable as opposed to a TRS style balance cable into the effects return of Pete's DP40. Mm -hmm. So we're just going straight into the power section of the DP40. The reverb still works yeah. on the... But we're actually, using... Yeah, so let's... Uh, what do you want to do? You want to oh, just let's we're, just keep okay, using fine. that one. So we'll, 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 no reverb from yep. there. Mm -hmm. Leave the reverb here. Um, what you will need the either. computer hmm. software to do, though, is to bypass the mm -hmm. IR through this output. If you are using this 
and you and you're not using the computer software the it's the it's the effects send that is the default oh, right, way right, right, of right, kind right. of having a non uh, cabinet emulated uh, yeah. output so you you can see on the screen here the IR bypass um, sort of switch at the top is switched on mm -hmm. uh, and as long as that stays on for this demo what happens when I go to channel off, two right? does it does it reset itself or anything? No. no, okay, that's, that's good. Saving thing, that's isn't it? Yeah. good. All right, so let's have a little listen. And what you're hearing now are the mics picking up the 212 cabinet and. <laughs> Still sounds great. And what, what I, I genuinely did think, you know, when you're a touring guitar player, yeah. you've, you, you, you know, normally speaking, if you're not taking your own backline and you don't, yep. you know, and you're worried about what the higher stuff is going to mm -hmm. be, that's why I think a lot of people have gone over to using Kempers or QC Absolutely. or whatever it is. Absolutely. Like yeah, yeah. But I guess I hadn't really thought about this as, as an option. If, as long as the uh, higher backline has got some sort of effects retail, yeah, some yeah, way yeah, of yeah, just yeah, yeah. going straight to the power yeah. section, which, you know, most modern tube amplifiers will have. Yeah then you could set it up this. Of course, that's right. That's the other way of setting this up is potentially to, cable, to yeah. have the, um, yeah, you could do four cable method, but or, or I was gonna say you could have the balanced IR, sorry, the balanced output with the IR on going to front of house. Yeah, and then the other one's the going into the other one going mm -hmm. yeah. uh, to, to an on, you know, on stage amp. Anyway, look, let's just have a little listen. I'm not gonna take too long on this, same sort of idea. So here's channel one. How clean does it go? It Holy sounds so great, mo man. <laughs> How clean does it go? That G-string. Do you know what? Interestingly, this is, I think, where the bright the bright switches will come in handy because sometimes I think Caps going into the effects yeah. return, you just. Oh my God! It's... The snap of it is something that that amp definitely does not have. Channel two. Jesus, my lord! great sound there we go so i hope you enjoyed this little demo please like and subscribe if you did uh the irx uh is already in stock and is going to cost you 549 of your british pounds uh free delivery in the uk if you live somewhere around the world where you can't get one of these again anderton's can ship it to you lee delivers uh, did it come with its power supply yeah it's, yeah, it it's comes a war war power supply yeah, uh, i think it's quite power hungry i think yeah, yeah i did i did think 
that's the only thing I suppose. A slight criticism or criticism. It, uh, twelve. It's. I oh know it'll work off anything from yeah. nine to twelve volts, but it does need eight hundred milliamps. Yeah. So a lot of those multi supplies aren't going to I'm supply sure. that. Yeah, but, but you can do a dual. Can you do like a double one that goes out and you get double milliamps out of it? Yes, you can. Double yeah. milliamps. So yeah, yeah. So double the, I thought, the, I the, you double, could double the voltage. Yeah, you, you can do a current doubler the... as well and a oh. voltage doubler. One in screen, one in screen. Whatever. <laughs> Links below for that. Whatever I said. <laughs> Yeah. We love it. I, I bear no responsibility for any electric advice Pete has I'm given sure you can. I'm sure you can. I'm sure you can. Anyway, right. Thank you very much for watching wow. and we'll see you next time. Au revoir. <laughs>